Hi, first graders. It is good to see you back here again. Welcome to writing. Over the past couple weeks, your teachers, Miss Mile, Mrs. Ruthruff, and I had such a good time listening to and reading your poetry. If you continue to work on poetry, please make sure to send us what you are writing. Today, we are going to start working on a new kind of nonfiction writing. We are going to be working on how to writing. What is how to writing? Well, it's just like what it sounds. In how to writing, you, the writer, teach your readers how to do something. Let's take a look at some examples. We're going to look at three examples of how to writing. As we look at them, I want you to think about what each of these pieces of writing has in common. How does each of these pieces of how to writing help the reader to do the thing that the author is teaching us to do? The first example that you see on your screen is by Mo Willems. And in this piece of how to writing, he is teaching us how to draw pigeon. What do you notice when you look at this piece of writing about what Mo Willems includes to help us be successful when we sit down to draw pigeon? Let's look at the next example. Here is a piece of how-to writing that teaches us how to fold an origami fish. Do you notice some things in this piece of how-to writing that were the same in the how-to writing that we just saw about drawing pigeon? What are the things here that help us, the readers, follow along and be successful when we sit down to fold an origami fish? Let's look at the last example. The last example is how to floss. Once again, as you look at this piece of how-to writing, what do you see that could help someone if they're looking at this and they really want to learn how to floss? What here is going to help them be successful? I notice when I look at all three examples that each one has steps that are numbered. So I know where to start. I would start at number one on each example there are words at each step to help me think about exactly what I'm supposed to do. There's also an illustration so that I can check what I've done and see if it looks like the illustration. I notice those elements, those parts of the writing in each example. The numbered steps, that have writing and illustrations to help us follow along. Let's think about how we can brainstorm what we might want to write about to help someone learn how to do something. As I think about what I might want to write a how-to book about, the first thing I think of is I'd better know how to do the thing that I'm going to write about. If I want to teach other people and I want them to be successful when they try it, it should be something that I know how to do really well. Something that I've done lots of times so that I can think about each of those steps that we just saw in the examples. I can write about each of the steps and I can draw an illustration for each of the steps. Today, you are going to make a list of things that you know how to do that you might want to write a how-to book about. I'm going to make my list. You can get a piece of paper and a pencil and make your list at the same time. Before I choose the idea that I am going to use for my how-to writing, 
I want to think of a few different ideas. I don't want to just do the first thing I think of because sometimes after we think for a few minutes, we actually have ideas that we're more excited about. So you and I are going to each come up with at least four ideas of topics we can write about for a how-to book before we choose one. So to do this, we are going to make a big rectangle on our paper. So you can do it just right along with me. I am going to divide this rectangle into fourths. So first I'm gonna draw a line down the middle to divide it in half. And then I'm gonna draw another line the other way perpendicular to that first one. So it's in quarters. And in each of these smaller rectangles, I am going to write and draw a quick sketch of an idea that I could use. So as I am thinking of things that I might write a how-to book about, I want you to also be thinking of ideas. So again, remember, when we write a how-to book, we want to make sure it is something that we know how to do really well so we can teach it to other people. The first thing I thought of was that I know how to make chocolate chip cookies. So that is going to be the first idea I write about. So right up here, I am going to write make chocolate chip cookies. And because we know that illustrations are a really important part of how-to books, I'm just going to draw a quick sketch this isn't my final book, so it doesn't have to be my best drawing, but it's just something to help me start to think about what that might look like. So make chocolate chip cookies. That's my first idea. What's your first idea? I am going to think of three more ideas. I would like you to pause the video and think about at least four topics that you know a lot about, things that you know how to do, and start to fill in your paper. Okay, I am back and I finished filling in all four of my boxes. I decided that three other things I know a lot about that I could teach someone else about are how to run a race, how to grow lettuce, and how to knit. Now I have to think about the one that I am going to choose to write a whole how-to book about. I think I am going to choose the one that I know the most about. I am going to write my how-to book about how to grow lettuce. Your job is to make sure that you think of at least four things that you know how to do that you could teach someone else. Then think about the one that you want to write a book about. Make sure it's something you know a lot about. That will be your topic. Next time, we'll get started by writing an introduction. I'm excited to see your ideas, and I'll see you next time.